in previous video we have discussed about progesterone placental progesterone and hcg in this video we will going to discuss about the hcs human chorionic somatotropin first it is also called as human placental lactogen because of its lactogenic activity as we will discuss later on in more detail the second point it is secreted by syncytiotrophoblast as hcg was also secreted by syncytiotrophoblast it is the outer layer of the trophoblast because trophoblast has two layers syncytiotrophoblast outer and cytotrophoblast the inner one and the structurally hcs is very similar to growth hormone and prolactin these two hormone has a structural similarity with hcs and uh, it appears that growth hormone prolactin and hcs has have been uh, emerged from a common precursor okay these three hormones appear to have a common precursor because of the structural similarity between these three hormones as we have discussed in hcg that hcg has also a structural similarity with tsh okay and lh like that now coming to the functions of the hcs hcs has most of the action of growth hormone okay so it is also known as maternal growth hormone of pregnancy because of its structural similarity and also has maximum actions as like growth hormone so it is known as maternal growth hormone of pregnancy so it will do functions as of the growth hormone that is it bring sodium calcium retention it will promote lipolysis it will decrease glucose utilization by the cells and this lipolysis and decreased glucose utilization will helps to divert glucose to the fetus because fetus required glucose more okay so this lipolysis increase lipolysis within the maternal blood and decrease glucose utilization by the cells will in, will help to divert glucose to the fetus the second function is that it has some milk forming activity so it is known as lactogenic so it was called as human placental lactogen earlier the third function is it also helps in the production of igf1 and igf2 it is insulin growth factor 1 and insulin growth factor 2 by placenta which influence the fetal growth later on okay in this this was the functions about the hcs first one was first function was that like that of growth hormone the second one was that of the uh, in milk forming activity that is lactogenic activity and the third one was hum, insulin growth factor and the two important structural point was the structural similarity with the growth hormone prolactin and it was secreted by the syncytiotrophoblast now coming to the placental estrogen it basically stimulates uterine muscle growth during pregnancy it also induces ductal proliferation in breast as we have discussed that progesterone increases the number of lobules and thus helping in the growth of the breast and placental estrogen will causes ductal proliferation the third one is that it also helps in enlargement of the external genitalia and the last one is assisting the activity of relaxing it will help to relax the pelvic ligament to accommodate the fetus in a right way okay so this was the function of the placental estrogen so this was all about the placental hormones thanks for watching